Hi, my name is uh, Minod Silva, co-founder and uh, director of uh, ProLighting Group uh, Private Limited uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, today we are going to bring you uh, our special lighting application uh, which we recently implemented uh, in project uh, Colombo Sri Lanka. So that uh, the pur main purpose of this uh, video series uh, to educate the uh, society. There are two societies normally, professional society and uh, other general society. Uh, what I mean by professional society, professional society is uh, project uh, developers, uh, architects, uh, consultants, uh, contractors and suppliers who are work with uh, lighting applications. So this project uh, mainly, this uh, project is uh, Colombo, located in Colombo Hilton. This is Colombo Hilton uh, Chinese uh, restaurant. There are several parties uh, have been involved for this project uh, in uh, project as a project team. It means uh, from uh, top to bottom. Uh, HDL uh, Hotel Developers Sri Lanka is the project developer for this project. Uh, architect is uh, New Studio and uh, interior design is uh, Acid uh, Singapore. Lighting designer is uh, Boss Tiber Singapore. Lighting solution provider is uh, Pro Lighting Group uh, Private Limited. Uh, those are the main uh, involved parties for this project uh, regarding uh, lighting in terms of uh, lighting. Uh, there are three main brands uh, used for this project to provide uh, this kind of uh, quality uh, finish. Uh, it means uh, that uh, all LED strips uh, we use from a brand called Lushi. It is from it is a Japanese uh, brand and all down light from uh, brand name uh, CDN, it is from uh, China and all decorative fittings, uh, chandeliers, pendant, uh, floor lamp, those are from uh, ME from uh, Hong Kong. Those are the uh, main uh, brands uh, used for this project. As I explained before, to educate the society, especially professional society, to, to, to do uh, right uh, applications. So in this project, uh, we have used uh, mainly three layers of uh, lighting. It's mean uh, ambient light, uh, task light and accent light. So the meaning of ambient light is to just to, uh, to provide the general illumination level of the space uh, we call uh, that is ambient light. Normally ambient light will be achieved uh, by uh, down lights, yeah, ceiling recess uh, down lights, uh, bow light uh, and uh, pendant uh, etc. So this project mainly that uh, ambient light achieved by uh, down lights, uh, co uh, light and uh, pendant light uh, as uh, well. That uh, second layer is uh, task light. Uh, task light means uh, to provide uh, that uh, to do particular task so we have to provide a particular illumination level into this space so that one we call a task light normally to task light achieved by uh, that uh, reading reading lamps uh, sometimes it is again pendant lamps for these up and track track lights uh, those are providing that uh, task so that uh, task lighting so in this project, uh, task uh, lighting achieved by some special light uh, we have used uh, in kitchen to do uh, food uh, preparation. Uh, we will show uh, later that uh, how we achieve that kitchen uh, task light applications. And uh, to dining table we use uh, pendant pendant light. I will, will I will show you later what the pendant light application here. So that uh, so those uh, are called that second lace uh, as I explained that's the task light. Third light in lace uh, accent light. Uh, the meaning of accent light is to illuminate uh, ob special architectural objects and other arch architectural elements which should be highlighted as per the interior designer concept. So those uh, to illuminate uh, these uh, objects and uh, such uh, applications. So we use uh, accent lighting to provide to get uh, accent lighting illumination. We are using uh, track light, uh, focus light, and ceiling recess some adjustable focus light. So those all three layers in this space, uh, I will uh, show you later uh, how we blend these three. The important is the lighting design in this project. Lighting design is 
both Thai and Singapore uh, and they highly uh, they highly involved for these concepts uh, together that all three layers they blended together to achieve to create best lighting uh, concept in this space and uh, incorporating with uh, architecture architects and interior designer so uh, these are the main three layers uh, to blend together for this space uh, as I explained before, now uh, we will uh, move to this space and uh, I will show you how we blended that, uh, explain that three layers in these spaces. Then you will have a proper understand uh, for those spaces, how we apply that uh, lighting concepts uh, into this space. Ambient lighting provides overall illumination and is meant to create a general and uniform lighting level. It's the first layer of lighting and sets the ambient of a space. Task lighting is a direct intense illumination that is ideal for detailed task work. It is focused on the particular area where the task is performed and is brighter than ambient lighting. Accent lighting is meant to highlight a specific object or area and accent lighting are significantly brighter than ambient lights. Accent lights draw attention to a feature converting them into focal points. I'm uh, Das, uh, director of uh, No Studio. Um, so I will try to explain uh, how we handled the uh, lighting design with uh, the consultants Bostaibe Lighting for the Emperor's Walk. Um, as uh, you know, lighting is an important part of the whole uh, experience of this restaurant and its architecture and the interior design. So uh, I will touch upon some of the basic uh, concepts that we had to uh, implement in this uh, design. Uh, the main one of the main features is the central um, lighting feature, which is the lit up ceiling. So this for me is a um, pioneering project because it's the first time I have used it in, a, in an interior project. And I think it's the first time in Sri Lanka that a restaurant has such a big uh, ceiling with a design like this. So uh, I have to thank the, all the people involved who guided us in uh, how to use light in this manner. Um, so lighting is an important part of uh, any, any architectural or interior space because uh, it's one of the key elements that we play around with. To, to enhance the guest experience. Uh, selecting the correct light and uh, the using it to its full potential is a key element. And as you can see in this restaurant, we have architectural lights for general ambience and then we have decorative lights for special scenarios. Um, so you can see in this restaurant those two different types very clearly. Uh, we have used uh, special uh, lights to highlight the wall art or paintings we have used in the restaurant and uh, some more spotlights for all the art objects and for all the display units. In addition we have used uh, strip lights at uh, the skirting level to highlight uh, all uh, uh, freestanding structures such as the tea bar counter to give it an appearance of uh, kind of like a floating effect. And uh, another special feature is the decorative light fitting we have used for the tea bar counter which uh, gives you general light for the work that goes on behind the counter and also certain kind of strip lights that enable the user behind the counter to um, get the functions done. Uh, to uh, encapsulate everything I discussed earlier, I think it's best we go and uh, take a walk in the site and uh, in the restaurant uh, where we can explain things further.